Here's my first update of my Mississippi Mount Turtle from Turtle Shack. As you can see, he's grown a lot since I first got him this quarter. He was around the size of a quarter when I first got him. I've had him for a month now. He is almost two inches long in shell length. He's about one, a little over, almost one and a quarter. Inch, one and three quarters. Um, but yeah, I am going to put him in his tank now. He'll probably run straight into the water. Yep. As you can tell, I have not done much to the tank. I added this spray bar on the filter that came with it that I didn't have originally, but I, I added it because I read somewhere that aeration is good for map turtles. At first, I bought this air stone that I have connected to an aerator that I received for free when I got this tank, which is a 29 gallon that I mentioned in the last video with a turtle topper that he most likely will go into once he gets a little bit bigger. So in s I had that in there. Sorry about the mess over here. Um, I had this right there in front of the filter so it would blow out the, oh, he's looking for food, blow, out the bubbles throughout the tank to aerate the water but there were just a ton of bubbles and air coming out of that and it just seemed overkill for a 10 gallon tank with seven gallons of water and it would just blow them all over the place and it was just getting on his nerves i think but he, he liked the bubbles so i added the spray bar and i put those it has a bunch of holes down it and i put those two holes above water so those would bring in air as they go in, and the other three or four that are in the water are just adding more current. You can see it's kind of pushing them around a little bit. I bought a Exoterra moss ball, moss ball that just recently has sunken or sank. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's supposed to be on the bottom, but it was floating on top for like two days now. But uh, anyway, the turtle is being a lot, he's getting very used to his tank, he likes it a lot, I have a, I have a good bit of algae growing even though I cleaned the tank, actually I cleaned the tank last Monday, and today is Tuesday, yeah so the tank's just now growing a little bit of algae when I did a full water change and clean with this, um, what you call it, siphon, with a hand pump, and I am, I'm just using a regular Home Depot bucket to put the water in. Anyway, the turtle I received from Turtle Shack has been having no problems, he's very healthy, swimming a lot, as you can see, growing perfectly normal. But the only weird thing is, um, the t he has these, the markings above his head, as you can tell, are not the ones that a Mississippi map turtle would have. Which makes me believe that he is a Alchita map turtle, if I'm saying that right, which is a cousin to the Mississippi map family. If that's correct. But I'm, I'm fine with that. It must have been just a mistake. Or he he may be like a mixed turtle. Like a mixture. He may be part Mississippi map, part Alchita. Either way, the Alchita maps are like 2 or $3 more on Turtle Shack than the Mississippi map turtles. So I think I got a good deal. So it's not like I ripped them off or anything. They just made a mistake and I'm not mad about it. As long as the turtle's healthy and is active, I am perfectly fine. It's kind of... Yeah, I have the water temperature right around 79, 78. It's not wanting to focus. Anyway. 
Yeah, but that's that's basically it. I'm gonna title this video Mississippi Map Turtle Update for whatever the date is. But from now on, I am probably gonna be titling them Al Cheetah Map Turtle Update. Just because it's not a Mississippi map turtle. So, thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe for more. I will be posting more and more updates as he progresses. Thank you.